okay, this is 37th Street Radio and TV. And of course, we are out here hooking up with the best of the best interviews. And today we have another guest. Guest, please just introduce yourself. Uh, hi, guys. I'm Wasaru Jeff Mongi. Uh, I'm a visual artist. I do tattoos, paintings, uh, murals, everything. You name it. So when, yeah. um, I'm eager to know when did your interest in art start? Uh, I think it started a while back in high school uh, when I used to see some from four guys do some crazy poetry. Yeah, either friends or my teachers. Yeah, and then I had that interest and I can answer to. So um, in, uh, when you started getting interested in drawing, na art, mm -hmm. where like at that time, of course, unajua when you are in school, you can't tell people that you want to pursue anything in art. So maybe ulikuna taka kufanya kitu ingine, art ikuwe tu asai dama ilikuwa aje. Honestly, for me, I never saw myself pursuing this career. Uh, before I got up my mechanical engineering. <laughs> yeah. So, and then after from four grids, I got up and I got up to see if I can do it again. Long story short, I didn't get admitted. As in, my mother had just paid the school fees. And then I was just there, uh, looking at the classrooms. And then I was like, yeah, mom, I'm not going to Tende, tende kwa and then the receptionist akatwambia it's unfundable so my mom was like yo pido is rudi ni hizo somia mama usawa mimi was like take you yeah to kena ujuna nipata home <laughs> yeah so that, that was it and then i stayed home i think for like a year and then i decided now this is what i want to uh, i got into art so the way uh you knew you you were interested in this umesema at high school ulikuwa chora chora so how did you how did you learn that how did you pick uh, that i'm going to venture into tattooing because maybe ungeenda na uanze kuchora mat maybe ungeenda like ujue art is diverse so i just want to know how you decided decided that i'm going to do tattooing uh so when i was in campus uh, so i joined kenya university uh while i was there since we had that issue with my mom i had to work for my rent and uh, the daily needs so i got into a garage garage plan in my bike senator nomad custom that's how i used to work as a mechanic so i used to work with my cousin so when i was there he was like yo mosaro i really, I really like your arts but me i'm more into tattoos and I think he could do, would do good tattoos. So why don't you get into it? I was like, ah, that's not my... Thing. Honestly, by the way, I mean, if your high school, you come to CCU. So what are tattoos, my T? Z, man. So anyway, long story short, uh, this guy comes through to the garage. to He's like, I have like three machines. I can give you one. one to practice for the pole. I was like, why not, Mazi? I can do the mandizi, machungwa. I can like a tattoo, the bananas, and the other things. So after a while, uh, my uh, my ex girlfriend gave me a chance to do a tattoo on her. Man, I was excited, yeah. <laughs> so I, I went through. I, I gave her the tattoo. It healed up well. I remember I was so nervous, like ni kapona poa sana. Yeah, and that's how my journey started. <laughs> so right now you have a shop. Yeah, hey, I, I have. A, I'm actually working. I'm an apprentice. Uh, not not app apprentice actually. I'm working with Eliamin Inc. We have two parlors, one is one in Westlands and uh, one in Pakistan. So I'm kind of helping him manage through the two shops. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I also want to know, like, are there um, uh, different, uh, I don't know how to put this, but are there types of tattoos? Because uh, for me, Sijui Ju Nasikianga, there are those that are permanent, and then there's there are those that then is natoka. So you can just elaborate on that. Okay. Uh, but there is an issue I feel like uh, we should address, especially in, in this country. You know, I feel like people don't have enough knowledge, especially the the clients on tattoos. 
So apart from there being temporary tattoos and uh, permanent tattoos, there are also different type of the permanent tattoos and temporary tattoos. Yeah. Uh, for the temporary ones, I, I honestly don't work with those because uh, the ink is kind of tricky to get good quality ink to do a tattoo when you hit a corner. Maybe Mazara, but I don't So I mostly do Hina. And it's it's on rare occasions, maybe friends and family, but clients no, I don't take clients for temporary tattoos. Yeah. Why? Why? Kwani, what what's the problem with that? I'm a challenge I can in uh, see challenge. And you will have to uh, like bro, I'm in this business for so long. So I'm not hard to come through temporary tattoo assistance. And uh Nikona ink, yes, like in stick sure how good it is. So I do you do this tattoo in a car three months, a lafu later on, una pata umanda kupata this maskin, this is this thing in the other and when pata. So until yeah. I get a hundred percent sure with the kind of ink I'm getting here, yeah, temporary tattoos, and you call hundred percent trick or sour. Until then, for now, no temporary for me. Yeah. Yeah, and the permanent ones. Yeah, uh, the permanent ones, it's such a wide range, man. Uh, from line work, pakeyake, so it's not minimalistic, to traditional tattoos, to portraits, to animal portraits. Ni mingi sana, ni mingi sana. As a, what personally I do is uh, mostly uh, people come through at the parlor. They don't know the kind of tattoo they want. Uh, so I, I kind of just get to know you first, maybe. Do it an appointment shop, yeah? So I know what you like. Uh, you come is the kind of song, the kind of music, uh, the kind of uh, entertainment you like. And then from that, we can do a sketch, a mock-up, and then come up with our own tattoo. Yeah, you, you've talked about that process. And I just want to know, uh, uh, when, a client, uh, when a client walks in and uh when I say my attacker tattoo, are there guys who already have a plan or Villa Umesema you start uh, making sketches for them, you see if they like it? Yeah, uh, there are people in fact who come with their sketches. So my work is just to perfect the sketch. Yeah? There are people who come with a reference of uh, the kind of the, like it's a copy and paste tattoo. Yeah? And then there are those uh, when you're nakuja, he, they just want a tattoo, but they don't know what they want. So they are all different clients with different processes, yeah. Yeah. Um, the way you uh, you tattoo guys, uh, um, the most the most important thing uh, in the parlor is usually hygiene. So I don't yeah. know how you sure that I mean kila kitu iko safi nini nini. Uh, uh, honestly, I advise every client that comes to my parlor, whether or not they're going to come back, make sure like before the tattoo artist starts uh, doing a tattoo on them, they give them the needle and the tip to confirm that they are sealed, and they are new. Also, I sanitize the machines, I put kuna seals, flani sisi weka za karatasi, a nylon paper. We do that. Uh, so yeah, it's very important actually. Hygiene ni muhimu sana. Are there yeah. guys who are there guys who cannot have tattoos because maybe of skin skin complications? Ushai kutana na issues kama hizo. Yeah, yeah. The first thing I ask a client me whether anajua ama kona allergies. There are people who are allergic to the ingredients in the ink. So you have to know the kind of allergy a client has so that you know which ink to use or not to use. Yeah. So sometimes the client ends up not getting a tattoo. Sometimes they get a tattoo with different ink. Talk about uh, post tattoo care. So, msea sha kam, usham wekea, usham chora tattoo. So, what mm -hmm. next? Uh, anafa kuhil. So, procedure ina kuanga niaji hapo. Uh, actually, kuna hii kliji ya nyetumishi kwa mbio high school. Procedure the teacher does 10% and then the student does 90%. That's the same sheet with tattoos, by the way. As a, as a tattoo artist, I'll do my 10%, and then the 90% comes in with you with the aftercare. If I do a really good tattoo, a lot of the people can swim, that tattoo will be shit. If I do a good tattoo, a lot of the tattoo will peel off, because they peel off. You know, it's basically a wound. 
uh, if you want to you start removing the scabs and everything it will look so sweet uh, if you don't apply oil if you don't oil it enough if you don't clean it for the first few days and then no sunlight no nini there are, there are procedures definitely that if you don't follow as a client the work in nimefanya does not matter what are um, some of maybe the common tattoos zenye wase wengi sana ume notice when they come to you one attack ah definitely hata na zuna zua prayer hands ile ya kuomba na rosary kuna roses especially your roses and this is taboo roses nimefanya kuna butterflies uh yeah it's a yeah it's a it's a huge list <laughs> yeah like in society with that, such kinds of tattoos you can do a different touch to each tattoo maybe unacheza na shading unacheza na ji unacheza kama ni butterfly unacheza na the way of the, the wings and butter yeah. yeah but there are definitely a lot of common tattoos and then and then you know sasa watu watataka kujua charges so maybe where range yako yani inakuwa ni aje in terms of charges okay uh, for the tattoos uh, the list the charge is 2500 at both parlors yeah for any minimal tattoo 2500 hata kama nakaka full stop yeah yeah and then there's also guys who usually want to know about tattoo removal so in in subject ngine guys usually really want to know about it so i don't know if tena you have specialized in this have you also been part of this you can talk to us about that oh, honestly that that's an that's a field that i've not ventured in it at all at all i think i should lakini i think ni vile me am more about art as in if i'm not doing tattoos i'm painting if i'm not painting i'm doing a portrait so ni ngumu sana upata ni concentrate on the business side of the tattoo removal because I, i hope i never get a client wangu mwenye attack kwa tattoo yenye mchora for whatever reason but i think i'm more into art than the business part of the tattoo because actually i got into tattooing cuz of art you get it yeah 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 you are what are your um, let's say personal plans or goals uh concerning your art maybe unataka kuwa na gallery ama kitu kaa hiyo uze painting zako majuu ama niaje eh my personal plans as a, as a tourist is first of all bro me i really want to travel a lot uh i want to do tattoos everywhere manze also i plan on we, we have a plan to open up a school ya kufunza na tattoos and get certificates eh hey, bro kuna tattoos zingine unapatana ufanye cover up za mudhuru wa bantu mungu saidia eh tattoo ilifanywa sijui na, na kisu nini <laughs> so hey, i'd love to have a school for tattoos and and art uh, there's there's a plans ni mingi sana gallery zote <laughs> have different shops in different countries yeah 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 for guys who are starting out maybe like let's say to youths are starting out in business nini mtse ako na talent nini yeah. advice yako unaweza wapea ni gani uh definitely as much as mtse ako na talent maze you have to put the work in you have to show up every day whether you are feeling it or not also tattoos are yeah you know, tattoos are crazy so like you have to know you i feel like before you get into the business you need to know what you're getting into the business for what click you want to get attract as a, as a client as clients you get it yeah definitely enjoy the process cuz how to ingia kwa biz alafu unakuwa booked out every month now you are new to the business you get it so enjoy the process be patient work hard that's it as we are finishing up you can just tell guys how they can find you shop zako unaweza peana location wa say wa wanaweza fika yeah so uh, i'm located in diamond plaza 1 and also in westland woodville group up upright towers new havana yeah so my social media ni jeff mosaru ama mosaru jeff all social media platform yeah you can book me nini nini come through you have a good time yeah Thank you bro for giving us your time. 
Uh, thank you too, man. Thank you for this interview. Na sijaje zina lock up bana. Usha jua yangu maizi. Mimi naitwa Bari. Unaitwa? Naitwa Bari. Oh Bari. Yeah. Ah nice to meet you too. Ali. Sitaki patana na kwa street niweze kuita 37 street. <laughs> thank you bro. Thank you. Uh, have a good one, Ali. <laughs> okay.